Uh, see, that's a good question what you asked. Um, but let me tell you something. Uh, so these are purely intraday trades. Like uh, in case if uh, the market was flat or something like that on one particular day, the next day might be a good day. And uh, you, what you are talking about is a volatile market uh, where the prices keep coming and uh, going, you know, buy call or sell call. That happens. That happens for Nifty and Bank Nifty. But usually for uh, certain scripts, when uh, they have a trend, they will follow a single trend only. They will at least make the intermediate targets and then uh, come out. It's not like all the scripts will keep making buy call and then they'll go and hit the stop loss and come back all the time. It doesn't happen that way. And uh, the other kind of market what we have seen is a gap up or a gap down market. Let's say we have an, uh, today we have 40 points gap up. It doesn't affect because uh, that is already factored in. That 40 points whatever uh, gap up is there, it's already factored in. It, does, it in no way uh, changes the software's decision to give you a buy call or a sell call. The same thing with uh, the same thing with even a gap down market or let's say in case if on a certain day you get a gap up and then again the script start moving up then also you'll get the entry prices very differently. I'll give you an example. Just wait. Now let's say uh, <coughs> Nifty was a 40 points gap up, but with a gap up we should have actually got a buy call here, but it won't give you a buy call uh, that easily. It says that 8152, then only you will get a buy call. So you will enter at this point. Now uh, let's say if it is a 100 points gap up open, then also it will give you a different figure. It will not directly tell you like uh, you go and buy at this whatever price it is. So each and every script has its own individual strength irrespective of the market. So they move in their own direction and sometimes Nifty helps in picking the scripts also. Giving a trend to a script also. So that way all the scenarios are uh, factored in. You don't have to worry about uh, all this volatile market, non-volatile market, gap up, gap downs, flat market. You don't have to worry about any of these things.
Cell call in the ADAST EDL one. Yes, it's a blind call in the one.
So I'll just close this meeting in another few minutes. So if you have any doubts,
Yeah, you like to trade. You like to trade, and then uh, then only you'll be able to make profits. So I will close this meeting in another few minutes. So today's calls, Crompton Ways, Coal India, NTPC, we have a buy. Dr. Reddy, we don't have a call. Marty, we have a sell. Tata Power, we have a sell. Lupin, we don't have a call. Simmons has already done its targets. REC, we had a sell call. M and M, it's at intermediate target. Infi, we don't have a call still. SSLT also. ONGC made its intermediate target. So Bharti Airtel, we had uh, two calls. That is one on the seller and the one on the buy. So other than that, we had uh, Sun Pharma, which is at intermediate target. ITC anyway, it has it has been showing its uh, past. Uh, performance. ITC usually doesn't give that kind of returns uh, every day. There should be a strong reason for it to give an, uh, strong trades. So you, you, usually ITC we just uh, set it at our side. So these are the calls for today. I mean uh, that, that, that is the stocks and news. So if you have, if you want uh, more information or uh, any more details you can just call me or else you can ping me on Facebook. I will just uh, send you the details. So thanks for coming. So that's roughly around uh, 12 rupees on uh, M and M. Now it's moving. So 3000 rupees till now. So you can just see a market moving in a range of 20 points. We have enough trades. So thanks for coming. And I'm just closing this meeting for now. Got some other work to do.